Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again with another episode of Assassin's Creed The Truth. This time, we're going to be talking about Desmond's son, or how could Desmond have a son, or how, who is this kid that we hear about that's a sage, and Abstergo knows where he is, that we heard about in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Now, before we even start this, I'm going to show you guys, if you don't know, who exactly this kid sage is and how we know about him from this data entry in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Here it is. Isabel, what brings you here? I came to gloat, actually. Look at this data. A sage! It gets better. Check his patrilineal line. Let's see. Patrilineal line. 19th century American Midwest. 18th century American Revolution. 16th century Ottoman Empire. 15th century Italian Renaissance! Oh my god. You don't mean... Yeah. The best part? His mother just walked him into one of your new clinics in New York City. Oh, I'd really like to strip him for parts like we did with Subject 17. Oh no, you don't. You had your chance with the Shroud. This asset is mine, and I won't be a party to the needless mutilation of a ten-year-old boy. It's inhumane. So what do you plan to do with him? Given his unique lineage, I think we should put him into an animus for the next 50 years. Think of the data we could extract. That's terribly old-fashioned. In any case, we should send Sigma team to recover him. No. I'm going to keep an eye on him for now. We'll collect him when the time is right. Obviously, this kid's important. Both the Templars and the Assassins want sages. The Templars obviously want sages for various reasons. Dr. Grammatica wants it to help Project Phoenix and building, constructing Isu. I th that's at least what we believe it to be from the ending of Assassin's Creed Syndicate and using the Strag to reconstruct the DNA. But also they're using that to go back even further because they want to be able to build their own pieces of Eden. They want to be able to go back even further to unlock the Isu's genetic memories, or at least the genetic memories of the sages using the Isu DNA so they can go back to the creation of the Peace of Eden. So there's a lot of important reasons Abstergo wants sages, the assassins want sages to stop the Templars getting sages, essentially. I don't really see a reason the assassins particularly want a sage, but you know, might be valuable to have, I guess, if you like things that are Isu and world ending related. So, in that discussion, we hear two characters. That's Dr. Grammatica and Isabel, who is the head of the historical research division at Abstergo. Now, these are two very important people, members of the Inner Sanctum that we find out in one of the latest Assassin's Creed novels, Heresy. So, Isabel actually dies at the end of Syndicate, so she is not around there to protect this kid or not protect this kid or watch over this kid so for all we know grammatica might want to put his hands all over this kid that has this very important dna that's familiar to desmond miles but also sage dna so there's a lot there however there is a character his name is simon hathaway he's the main protagonist in assassin's creed heresy he's the guy that takes over as the next inner sanctum member for Isabel and takes over as the head of historical research division. Now I don't want to spoil heresy but he goes through a lot of stuff and he's not entirely a bad dude that we know someone like Grammatica to be or even Isabel to be. He's not a good guy, he's not really a bad guy but he's on a quest for knowledge so this sage would be important for both of these Templars. Grammatica he wants to you know pretty much cut him open, use his DNA for research, build more Isu yeah, all that sort of nonsense. So that's what Grammatica wants sages for. So that's a bad thing. We don't want this kid to die. He's 10 years old. Whereas you've got Simon Hathaway. He want, is on a quest for knowledge of understanding Peace of Eden. He'd want to do something such as discover how to build Peace of Eden rather than killing a 10 year old. He'd want to put him in an animus and, and do research on him and things like that. So it's interesting to see that we now get to know someone like Simon Hathaway who would be important in Abstergo to this young boy who very well in speculation terms could potentially be the next protagonist in the modern day or at least an important modern day figure in the future games like Assassin's Creed Empire. So that's very interesting that we've been introduced to this Abstergo agent at this time and that sort of stuff. So that's very, very cool at least in my mind of what could potentially happen for future titles in Assassin's Creed. Now moving on, who could this child be? Not just why he's important, so who is he? Obviously he's very important to Abstergo for a lot of reasons. He's 10 years old. 
E in October of 2015. That's what we know from Syndicate. That's the data entry. Isabel says he's 10 years old. So at the earliest, he was conceived at the beginning of 2005. Now, let's remember these dates as we go on because this is very important to perhaps Desmond being the father and how I can prove at least that it's very likely that Desmond is the father rather than something else. So, like I said, conceived at the earliest, the beginning of 2005, perhaps, you know, in the second half or final quarter of 2004. So, bloodline similar to Desmond's patrilineal line. Now, that's also very important because they only read off Desmond's patrilineal line. And we see the two lines, both patrilineal and the mother side. Oh, I forget that fucking word. Uh, we'll move on. <laughs> um, which is... In Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, you hack one of the computers and it shows you uh, the matrilineal line. I think that's the word. Well, maybe I fucked that up. And the patrilineal line, and you see who's related. So it has uh, the uh, American Midwest in the 19th century, the 18th century uh, American Revolution. Then you got 16th century Ottoman Empire, which is Ezio in the early 1500s. And then you've got 15th century Italian Renaissance, which is Ezio in his earlier life. So that's what those ones are midwest probably like you know a western setting cowboys all that sort of shit and then with uh assassin's creed 3 you've got connor kenway who's that's the patrilineal line so that's what desmond got from his father uh on his side and those are the only bloodlines read off yes now if you read i guess from that line essentially um that's the first thing you'll see. Then you've got matrilineal line, which is like, uh, you know, French Revolution. I was about to say Arno, but I don't know if that's the case, because we don't know. I'm pretty sure Desmond's DNA wasn't the one used for Arno. Oh, no, it definitely wasn't, obviously. What am I even talking about? Uh, but, yeah, it's got French Revolution, something in Japan. It's got Altair, so it's got the Crusades. And then it's got Egypt in the 13th century, which is Altair's son, who travels to Alexandria after Marcia falls and all that sort of shit. So... We kind of know all those bloodlines, and when they only read the patrilineal line, people would then go and say, Oh, that means it's Desmond's father's son, so it's Desmond's half-brother or full-brother. Well, we know he doesn't have a full-brother, and William Miles lived on a fucking farm with assassins, and I'm pretty sure he's like 60, 70 uh, during that time, or, well, at the time of the child's conception, would have been like 50s, 60s. He's not going around fucking random chicks. That's all I'm saying. Probably not. Maybe it's a cousin. I don't know. I just think probably not because he would be involved in the assassins. He wouldn't be just some random kid with an important bloodline out there for the world to see. The assassins would have known about it. The only person that wouldn't have known about, well, one, he could have had a kid from a random person and also he wouldn't have been worrying about that kid's DNA would be someone like Desmond. That's all I'm going to start with. Then we'll move on to the more important things and reasons I think Desmond's the father. And now, like I said, I could just be a cousin slightly related to Desmond, but I, I highly doubt it. Doesn't really make as much sense. They only read off a few and then they kind of went into, oh my god, reactions. It doesn't mean that there's not more DNA they didn't read off. That's all I'm saying as well. Oh, so I don't think it makes sense to be Desmond's son. I'm saying it is Desmond's son. How could it be Desmond's son, you ask? Because many of you like he's not old enough. Desmond had to have a kid when he's like 12. No, that's not true at all. Desmond died in 2012 at the age of 25. So, let's go back and talk about when Desmond grew, where Desmond grew up, when all this shit went on that he ran away from the farm where he was raised with the assassins. He ran away on his 16th birthday in March of 2003. So that's almost a full two-year period that he is in New York City during the period of which this child could have been conceived or he could have conceived a child within that time that could be at that age, 10 years old by the end of 2015. So, we know that he was a bartender in New York City for the years that followed. Now, there's also important things because some of you are like, what, so he's just going around fucking random chicks? Uh, I don't know if any of you have been uh, 16 to 17, 18 year old guys uh, uh, that lived out on your own, but very likely that he's fucking random chicks. I guarantee you, very likely that's happening. Let's even have a look at one of Desmond's memories from Assassin's Creed Revelations, where he talks about the women that he sees for the first time while he's out bartending in New York City. Tending bar at Bad Weather. I just walked in and they handed me a shaker. Took me on for my ravishing looks. So where are you from? He was raised in a cult or something like that. You know, out west. 
My parents were conspiracy freaks. They live off the grid, in the woods. Seriously? God, they all look so good. Girls in their skirts, batting eyes, beads of sweat. Everyone was so beautiful in those flashing lights. You want to dance? I was a new man, born again. Alone, but alive, trying to forget. Come on. Let go, Desmond. Just let it go. Forget it. So you've got a young man who's out on his own, lying about who he is, his identity, his name, I'm sure his age as well to be a bartender in New York City in the US, especially when he's underage itself. So I'm sure there's plenty of lying going on for Desmond to get a job like that and to be in New York City. Now what else is important? is that he very well, based on age and the lifestyle he lived, could have conceived a child within the ages of what he would have been about 17. He would definitely have no way have been almost 18 for that kid to be 10 years old, but he's, you know, in the period of 17 years of age. Desmond had sex with a random chick, could have been while he's a bartender, random one night stand, I don't know, he was just seeing a girl, we just don't know. It doesn't even matter who the girl is at this point, yet. What matters is Desmond, what matters is the son in this situation, and that he could have had one at 17 years of age, especially the last time he lived. What else is important? Where did Desmond do this? He did it in New York City. Where is this kid found? Isabel says it. She says, he just, the mother of this young boy just walked him in to one of Abstergo's facilities in where? New York City. Ladies and gentlemen, I am sure, unless, you know, Ubisoft really, you know, hates everything, that this kid is Desmond's son. Now, there's, there are some evidence to make you question, perhaps it is another relative. Look, I understand there's definitely a possibility, I just think based on the facts, based on what we know about Desmond, what we know about this kid, that lines up way more, just because they didn't read off a couple of bloodlines, it just lines up way more that it's Desmond's son than anyone else in terms of, let's think, just logic. Like I said before, if D William Miles had a second kid, he wouldn't just let that kid be off getting taken to a Masogo facility. He wouldn't just let that kid be around. Same with the cousin. They'd all be, they're all involved. They're all in a very inner working family and assassin cult guild, if you will. Whereas Desmond, he has a one night stand, gets a chick pregnant, even if he knows about it, he doesn't. he's not really thinking about well, they're going to take my DNA and blah, 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 blah. He's not worried about the assassin shit I, in terms of him having random kids. He thinks he's scot-free at this point, and he lives another five, six, seven years without any contact until Abstergo takes him at 25 years of age in, in September of 2012. So, that kid would have been seven by then. Most likely, he never knew the kid. Maybe he did, wasn't really involved in it, we just have no real clue. If Desmond did have a son, he and then he gets captured by Abstergo, why wouldn't we have heard about him that time? Well, I doubt he would have been mentioning a kid to any of these people. He'd want them to not know he has any family or anything. So, it's not impossible that he knew, very unlikely that he knew. So, we're going to say unknowingly conceived a child in 2004, early 2005. He's 17 years of age. He's an idiot, young kid. Very likely, I think it's the case. This kid's going to be, I think, very important for the future of the game. At least I hope he's going to be important to the future of the game because I think it's a great storyline to automatic investment in this kid. He's related to our former protagonist of the modern day. That's an automatic little tick of investment. Now make him at least a decent character. By now, by the time Empire comes out, he's 12 years old, unless they do what they did with Assassin's Creed 1, where they skip five years and set in 2012 when the game came out in 2007. So the game set five, six years in the future. This kid's 18. By that point, that's when they take this sage in because they've been watching him. I don't know for certain at that point, but that's a possibility. Then we're playing as an 18 year old, maybe he's 16. I don't know. But at the very least, he's going to be a 12 year old kid playable. It's not like he's going to be running around doing missions in the modern day that's not really ever what the modern day missions have been like other than some of the later Desmond games but early Desmond games and after that it's really just kind of you're involved in story arcs and cutscenes and in you know small local facilities of Abstergo and things like that so if they do that again it's alright playing a 12 year old because all you're really doing is controlling him walking around and maybe 
I don't know if he's hacking into shit, I don't know if he's really smart, I don't know, but there's a lot you can do with 12, 13 year old kid, you know, it's not impossible for us to think he's, uh, you know, playing around, doing shit, you know, so that's what I think, this kid's important, that's who I think this kid is, and this is the evidence I have to support my claims. Uh, let me know in the comments whether you agree with me, disagree with me, what you're hoping to see from Desmond's son. I know it's a topic we've been talking about for a long time. I think there's a lot more evidence to suggest of why this kid is uh, Desmond's son. I think a lot of people's questioning was whether Desmond's lifestyle and he was that type of person that could conceive a child. And it wasn't really till recently I was playing the Desmond story missions in the Ezio collection that I was like, oh shit, I totally forgot. He talks about girls and that sort of lifestyle lived. And I think that's an important factor and that's why I wanted to kind of make this video now, especially early 2017, Empire's supposed to come out. Let's address Desmond's son again. Let's remind you guys what's going on as well as add some more stuff that you might not have remembered or we haven't mentioned in the past. So there's that as well. So anyway, guys, that's it for my rambling in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know, leave a like, share, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I will see you guys very, very soon with more Assassin's Creed videos.